Uh, we're going to head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason. Uh, this uh, one of our frequent viewers uh, has a, an unconventional idea and destination for Baker Mayfield. Hi, Sports for CLE and all the my fa my fellow Cleveland friends and all my peeps on the chat. This is Qatar Sheik, and I actually have been thinking about something sincerely for a landing spot for Baker Mayfield, and I think it is reasonable and logical. How about the Miami Dolphins? Now, this is the reason I'm thinking this. The Miami Dolphins have Tua Tagovailoa. Oh man, I hope I said that right. And this guy. Yeah, they're putting the chips all in, it seems, this year. But I don't believe they're any more confident in his abilities than the Browns were with Baker. But this is where I think Baker differs from Tua. Number one, he's proven to be more durable until this season. He had that freak injury on an ill-advised tackle, but he's a competitor. He's been through four systems. He's proven he can learn different systems. He has more experience than Tua, and he has a better arm than Tua. Arguing about the running ability, I think Baker runs well enough to escape. He's proven that in the past. He will be healthy for the start of the season. It wasn't his throwing arm, and I really think he deserves a second chance, and he can be a decent quarterback in the NFL. And I hope that he does get an opportunity like this, even if he sat as a backup to Tua. Who knows if Tua is going to play well enough to stick at the starting position or stay healthy. Baker could have a definite opportunity there, if not even to beat him out in training camp. As always, we appreciate all of uh, the voicemails. And let's take a look. Uh, this is from Bova as the uh, odds of where Baker Mayfield is week one. And right now, the overwhelming favorite, your Cleveland Browns, uh, minus 220. Panthers, plus 275. Seahawks, plus 290. Uh, Texans, plus 650. Falcons, plus 1500. Um, Tim, the, the Dolphins is an interesting one. I think they're, they're trying to get a read on Tua. That's the reason you go out and you get Tariq Hill and, and you put um, all those assets around him. Um, Tua's is a lot like Baker. If you put the right pieces around him, I think he's going to be successful. Yeah, and don't forget that they have a new head coach as well. Mike McDaniel comes from, you know, the 49ers, the Kyle Shanahan coaching tree. So I, I would imagine, based on that alone, they're kind of interested to see how Tua would do in this offense. But it's not an odd fit. I think it it really is interesting, you know, if you think about it, because Miami's not sold on Tua. They may have too much talent to be in a position to get a guy like C.J. Stroud or Bryce Young in next year's draft when the quarterback class is going to be so much superior compared to this past draft, 2022. Um and we still don't know quite what Tua is. I mean, he's shown flashes, but he hasn't looked like the guy we saw at Alabama when he was, you know, just absolutely dominant for about two seasons before he got hurt. And uh, just he was never the same in Alabama when he wasn't healthy. So, uh, which, of course, sounds familiar to what's happened with Baker Mayfield. When Baker's been injured, he hasn't been the same player when healthy. So maybe there, there is some similarity, I guess, to that. But Baker's proven more, I think, in the NFL than Tua. And I think if Miami were to trade for Baker, it would be, I think that would be kind of an indictment on Tua because again, remember they had a chance to take Justin Herbert as well. Justin Herbert is on the board. They chose to imagine how different this Dolphins team would be with Justin Herbert plus the defense they already have now. And especially if they added Tyreek Hill, all of a sudden the bills might not be the fav would not be the favorite in the AFC East that they are right now. Yeah, and again, it's just an interesting uh, dynamic. There's some skill um, with the Dolphins that would play to uh, Baker's strength. So it, it's just an interesting uh, perspective, very interesting thought. Don't know that it will happen, but, um, you know, keep bringing those ideas. I, those are interesting ideas, and uh, that's what we want to talk about. All right.